meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We're checking out yesterday's rainfall, just about a half inch for the Brookville area, a little less than that in Dayton, and right around a half inch down in the Springboro area. Has had some decent downpours come through and then some lighter amounts out in Greene County and New Carlisle right around a tenth of an inch with three tenths reported in Kettering. But now we have more rain falling out there on live Doppler 2 HD radar. Some spotty downpours extending from Miami County through Phillipsburg, Brookville and then back into Preble County where we actually have some lightning strikes around West Alexandria just come through the Eaton area. A few more isolated cells here in central Montgomery County around Trotwood. All of this is working eastward, so it'll eventually get to the I-75 corridor in downtown Dayton very shortly. Up in Wapakoneta, another decent downpour. No lightning at the moment, but we have had some occasional lightning across our northern counties as well this morning. As we've just gotten active over the past hour, hour and a half, you can see as that's kind of blossomed here on our satellite radar loop. Still, though, some clear sky across the southeastern Miami Valley, but the rain chance is going to be there pretty much at any time today. Where we have uh, spotty activity this morning, and again later this afternoon we'll see new development. So if you're planning a pool day, it's definitely a day to have the Storm Team 2 weather app handy on your phone so you can check the radar and see where those storms are. It is going to be hot and humid with a high near 90 degrees and those spotty thunderstorms to deal with. The pattern's going to continue this way through the end of the week. If you're hoping for a pool day where you don't have to worry about any rain, that's going to happen this weekend. Saturday is looking like a dry day and that will even continue into Sunday. So some nicer weather on the way. Although it is going to be cooler at that time, we're going to stick with highs in the 90s for the next few days and then we'll see a drop just in time for the weekend. Saturday's high is 80, Sunday 83 and then we'll kind of level off next week pretty close to normal with highs back into the mid 80s. Future track has the potential of a shower or storm around as we go through lunchtime and then in the mid to late afternoon additional showers and storms fire up. Some of these will be around for the drive home at 5. Any of them could produce heavy rainfall and there's also the potential for some stronger wind gusts, so we could get an isolated warning for that by tomorrow morning, kind of in a lull in the rain, but more will be likely tomorrow afternoon, some occasional showers or storms for Wednesday. Your forecast today, hot and humid, up near 90 degrees. We'll have a few scattered thunderstorms and a bit of a breeze from the southwest. Overnight, we drop to 72. Still looking at a few storms possible. It will be very muggy again tonight. And then tomorrow, back up to 90 with more scattered showers and storms. Our heat index today and tomorrow will be in the upper 90s. And then Thursday, with a high of 92, we could be closer to 100 degrees. Feels like temperature. Friday, a cold front comes through, so it's still going to be very humid, just not quite as hot. And then the humidity and the heat both drop for the weekend and right now it's looking dry and quite comfortable.